Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed double decker buses lining up outside coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make it terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle the olympico obviously an integral part of roma's proud history their home since 1953 Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. Tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? The exciting Ivan Perisic. A tall and rangy, but he has a deft touch and enough pace to move clear of attention. He's always looking to shift the ball onto that left foot too. He packs real power with it. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Pellegrini gets it out to the wing. Great challenge, time to perfection. Perisic very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Well, I'm a believer in having faith in your ability, but he's overdone it now. Well, I'm seeing a very cautious approach to defending. Not a lot in the way of high pressing, which is probably seen as a bit too risky just now. Balls come loose and the chase is on. Straight challenge, but well within the laws. Brozovic. Inter have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. This game is in need of some excitement, it needs help and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Ericsson. Ericsson plays it forward. Mkhitaryan. Pellegrini. Karstorp. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Eriksson goes looking. Lukaku. Lukaku! Goal! Inter! I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. 
to Milan take the lead and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on there too Mkhitaryan looks to dink one in and that has been cleared has gone out Brushed off the ball there. Fed's got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. And it's played forward. Played out to the right. Pellegrini. It's wrestled off the ball. Hakimi, Martinez, It's half time here. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. If we're just back from your break, we've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Roma don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Throw it. Spinazzola. And it's Mukatari. making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front and this is something different over to the left Pellegrini tries to switch the play Mkhitaryan. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Roma are not doing enough to get themselves back in the game. They're not as threatening as their opposition. It's got to change. Looks to drop one in. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box. And that speaks of little ambition. Perisic. Brozovic. The fry tries to get it forward quickly. Roma are making a change now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Mm -hmm. 
Pellegrini. Look at Sari. Mkhitaryan drives it forward. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Gets the better of his man. He's gone out for a throw in. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Fair too. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Spinazzola, full steam ahead down the left flank. Roma are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they could still have a say. Perisic. Stefan de Vrij. Brozovic. Hoists it forward. Done very well to intervene. Mukatari. Tries lifting it over. Cleared away. Pedro. There too. Look at Tari. We can get that clear. And that's it. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, the way the manager has stormed down the tunnel lends itself to an almighty telling off for such a, a timid, docile display. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.